Hello, God TV family. It's so nice to welcome you back to yet another Standing Together programme where me, my mate Fergus, and the God TV family get to stand together in prayer and ministry. We have a wonderful show for you today, and I can't wait to celebrate everything evangelism and everything go. Fergus, what have we got coming up today? Oh, a special guest, Vernon Octagon, uh, leader of the Go movement, will be joining us today to share his passion for the lost. We have a wonderful word of encouragement from Catherine Ruanella and most important of all we get to spend our special time in prayer with you the God TV family so wherever you are please do make sure you connect with us uh, go to prayer at God.tv that is prayer at God.tv if you want to send an email if you want to go to our website it's God.tv forward slash prayer really important day I think today Ian why is that? What's in terms of the fact that we get to stand before the Lord and the partnership that's growing with the Go movement and Vernon Octagal, it really is going to talk about souls. Is yeah, definitely. And it's important for us here at God TV. I mean, if you're watching at home, we're actually pressing in with Werner as a key partner. Uh, and there's a bunch of people, Fergus. So there's uh, Werner and the Go movement. There's the International House of Prayer uh, and a bunch of people that I'm going to forget. So I'll let Werner talk about that. But uh, the month of May and into April, um, we are turning the channel over to uh, evangelism. Um, and we are going to be uh, giving people tools and techniques and the encouragement maybe that you require at home. We know that when we say the word evangelism, it sometimes it makes everyone's knees shake. Not mine, but maybe yours. Um, but we are going to help you share the love of God with your friends, your family and the people in your community. Now that's coming up in May, but as a ton of events that are happening around the world, Fergus, and uh, Vernu is a part of that. Yeah, so wherever you are, get ready, get ready, get ready. It is time for us as the God TV family to be equipped to reach the lost, to share the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, my buddy Ian always gets excited. My knees are a little more tender at this moment, but no matter where we are on that as believers, surely this season of all seasons, we must be sharing the good news of our risen Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, before we join Werner, we have a wonderful, wonderful video of the Go movement and how it has come to be a global phenomenon for the body of Christ. Welcome to Go Stories. We want to show you how God is using ordinary Christians. Ten years ago, a movement started, Global Outreach Day, and God is using simple believers around the world, and we receive Amazing testimonies. There are no superstars in the kingdom of God. Cassius Clay, the famous boxer, was sitting in a plane right before departure. The stewardess came and she said, fast and seat belt. He replied and he said, I don't need a belt. I am Superman. The stewardess said, well, Superman doesn't need a plane. Fasten your seat belt. There are no Superman in the kingdom of God. God can use simple believers. There was a young girl, her name is Rispa, 13 years old. She lived in Uganda. She got saved on Global Outreach Day and then her father died. Watch this. In 2015, when I entered the house of Mr. Saab, after hearing a loud noise of crying, I found him on the bed, lying dead. When I came in the house, I found Rispa was interceding for the dad who was dead. breathing, he was not moving, he was completely dead. Here in the village, uh, in some areas, doctors have to check, but with him, uh, we, we didn't have any person uh, 
about, who works about health. So we joined hands, we prayed highly for the life of Mr. Saab. When my daughter was praying, something just came in power and hit me. When it hit me, that is when I realized that I was coming back to life. Thank you. We had to come out with him from the room. People who were crying started rejoicing, and some of them received Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Amen. In my life, Amen. I, do, I wouldn't miss two things. That is drinking. Secondly, I couldn't miss out fornication and adultery. That was a part of my life. He was not uh, in salvation. We prayed for him. We led him into salvation. And now he's saved. He's a man of God. He's working for God. He's a pastor. I rejoice in Jesus. I thank God for that great full work. Amen. 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 I thank God for the good work he did into his life. If God could use a 13-year-old girl, he can use you. Jesus said, if you believe in me, you will do the same things. So this is my challenge for you. In the next week, share the gospel with at least one person or pray for a sick person and expect God to use you. He is with you. Well, it's with great pleasure that we welcome to the broadcast today Werner Nachtigall, founder of the Go Movement. Werner, God bless you, and welcome to the program today. Uh, thank you so much. It's an honor to be with you today. Now, you blessed our viewers last month with a call for prayer. We had outstanding reports come in from the response to that. But one of the things that we're so encouraged about is what's coming up through May and how as the God TV family, we're partnering with the Go Movement to really up our faith and share our faith with a lost and hurting world. Please tell us more. Well, um, it will be a month where we call every believer to share the gospel. Um, this movement, uh, the Lord gave me the vision 10 years ago. And in the beginning, my dream was to mobilize a million. But then a very powerful leader said, For forget a million. Every believer is a witness. I mean, imagine there are over... Two billion people on planet Earth, they believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died on a cross, arose on the third day. He is alive. They believe that the gospel is the greatest message. And I want to tell you, God wants to use every believer. Imagine there is a day and now a whole month where Christians are praying and sharing Christ around the world. Especially now in this time, people now are losing hope. They don't have hope, but we have hope. Christ has risen and we believe because of Christ we have hope for eternity. So in the month of May, we challenge every believer, first of all, to pray. May 1st, we, we expect at least 50 million Christians on that day, in that period of time, sharing the gospel and starting with prayer. I mean, imagine last year, we've prayed also for the Muslim world, that Muslims are getting saved. We've heard outstanding testimonies from around the world from North Africa, from Iran, from so Indonesia. So many Muslims got saved over there. So May 1st, we are starting with prayer, but then we ask believers, first of all, start with prayer and start with a simple kind of prayer. Lord of the harvest, send out labors, send me. I will share my faith with at least one person. And the final day will be the go day, the last Saturday of May, where we want to see 50 million Christians and even more to share the gospel like a massive move of salvation around the world. But you can uh, join us for the whole month. Maybe you pray for five people. Make a list of people. Maybe it's a relative, it's your neighbor. 
pray for five people and reach five people. There is another option, but that's only for a few. We call it one a day in May. And I tell you, this will spark revival. If you share your face every day, oh boy, I think some people would say, come on, for me, it's even one person a month, it's a challenge. Then go for one a month. But there are others, they would say, yes, I will do the challenge. I, I did it. Honestly, for this year, I made a decision in the year 21, I will share my face every day, every day. And even in a time of quarantine, I was in quarantine just a couple of days ago, and I was sharing my face every day, even in this situation. So if you want to make a decision, one a day, please join us in a huge movement of Christians around the world to share the gospel daily. But for sure, this is for everybody. You can pray and you can ask the Lord to give you power. And this is what Jesus promised. You will receive the Holy Spirit and you will be my witness. To give you power to share the gospel with at least one person. But on the final day, you know that you are not alone. On that day, May 29th, the whole world is talking about Jesus. The weekend before, we celebrate Pentecost, and we want to see a real Pentecost, receive the Holy Spirit and be my witness. In hundreds of thousands of churches, pastors are sending out believers the following week, share Christ. Join us in this great movement. Yeah, it sounds, Vernon, it sounds amazing. And as the God TV family, they won't know that we're getting involved. And so what are we planning to do from a broadcast perspective? How are we going to bring uh, our friends and family in the, in the God TV world into this movement? What are we planning on doing together? I mean, first of all, May 1st, we are starting with prayer out of Kansas City, partnering with IHOP, and Lou Engel will join us, uh, Jason Hubbard from IPC. They want to mobilize a lot of people for prayer. So on May 1st, please join us here on God TV. This is the main channel. We want to pray for a massive harvest. So here we are united also with some of these huge cell churches. I just got the commitment from one of these big cell churches. Churches, two million cell churches. They are praying. I mean, can you imagine on that day? This is a massive prayer gathering. Even if you sit in front of your TV with two or three, uh, well, the presence of God is there and you can pray. So May 1st, this is the massive day of prayer. But actually, we want to prepare you for May. So we will have a program April 24th. We call it Go Train, a day of training. We want to train and equip you in personal evangelism. You will hear practical training uh, from different leaders, great leaders. They want to equip you how you can share your faith. Maybe you say, well, I'm afraid. I don't know how to talk to people. I want to tell you, God wants to use you. It is so simple to talk to somebody in a supermarket, on the, at the gas station, on a uh, bus station, wherever you are, you can share Christ. And God wants to use you. There was a lady in the Dominican Republic on that go day. She was on her way to a bridge to commit suicide. And somebody told her about Jesus and she got saved. Be a somebody. So we are starting with equipping April 24th, prayer May 1st, then the main go send Pentecost. We want to send believers and then the go day share the gospel with one person. Join us in this massive movement of believers to pray for the harvest and to be the answer and to go. Amen. It's going to be so much fun, Fergus. Like, I can't wait to do it. And we're planning on broadcasting a lot of what's going on here at God TV so that you too can join in and you too can be part of this amazing day. Um, so yeah, get involved, uh, look on the website, keep an eye out, and we're going to keep talking about it right up until uh, we go live with the Go Movement. It's such an amazing partnership and we hope to see a great harvest and a great revival too, Fergus. So if you've not been encouraged yet by this broadcast, I think you need to rewind. Ian and I actually want to get closer to the telly so that Verna can pray for us. But the great thing about these Standing Together programs is, is that our special guests will be praying for you. So if we can indeed pray for you today, even as part of this broadcast, please go to god.tv forward slash prayer and share your prayer requests so that we can be praying over you today. Well, Ian and I will be back with more from Verna Nachtigall right after this.
We're too blessed to be stressed. Faith comes out of your spirit. With the heart, man believes. You need to take the limits off God. And to do that, you have to use your imagination. The way to bring enthusiasm into every ordinary day, do everything in the name of Jesus. Death is not in front of us. Judgment is not in front of us. It's behind us. Mornings on God TV. Get faith-focused content for every part of your life with hundreds of videos, articles, and more. Welcome to our Monday's broadcast of the gospel truth. Do you know there's a spiritual atmosphere that affects your very life? God Daily has you covered, no matter what season of life you're in. More breakthroughs for you are coming. He's not a God that is restrained in power. He is a God of all power and all might. Sign up today at GodTV.com. Sometimes life can get overwhelming. When family issues, health concerns, or financial problems build up, prayer is often a last resort. Prayer works. Whatever you're facing, you don't have to face it alone. We have a dedicated team around the world praying for God TV partners. Send us your prayer requests. Go to god.tv slash prayer. Welcome back. Prayer truly is the cornerstone of what we do here at God TV. But before we join Werner and Fergus again in a time of special prayer with you, our friends and family at home, I just wanted to share this piece of scripture that this program was birthed out of. It's a piece of scripture that was given to our CEO. And right at the start of the pandemic, it was the reason why we started these daily broadcasts to stand with you, but also to encourage you and pray with you. And this is our South Africa team sharing our cornerstone scripture. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 to 4. And we pray that you will sense some of that comfort as we pray for you today. But not only will you sense that comfort, but as the scripture says, you'll be able to share that comfort with those around you. Uh, Verna, I wonder if you'd be so kind as to stand with us in prayer for those who are in need today. Um, uh, Ruth in Norway is praying for her grandson who has been suffering from a sickness for years. Kerry in the UK is praying for a friend of hers, Sarah. Florence in India is praying for a skin condition that she is suffering from right now. In the US, Kim is praying for protection and direction so that she can find work. In the US, again, pray for breakthrough in my health. And last two are here from India. Please pray for me and my health. And again, Dippy in India is please pray for my mother. She is suffering from pneumonia. Uh, I, Verna, I wonder if you'd be kind enough to stand with our God TV family by praying over the needs of the God TV community right now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is what the Bible says. By his stripes, we are healed. Uh, we believe that there is healing. And if we pray, I, I've seen so many miracles. And let's pray right now, whatever we have heard. And there are many others maybe watching the program. We pray for healing right now. Lord, we thank you that you are still the Lord and the healer. Christ, you are the son of the living God. And for you, all things are possible. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we want to bless every person which is watching the program. We want to bless his, bless his beautiful grandson which is suffering, uh, the person which is suffering of skin disease and many other health problems. Lord, we pray for divine healing. We pray for completely recovering in the mighty name of Jesus. By your stri stripes, we are healed. We are. Lord, we, we, uh, we receive it in 
in the mighty name of Jesus, there is healing in your mighty presence. And Lord, we pray for everybody who is watching the program, who is sitting in his living room, who is suffering, who has pain. Lord, I pray for divine healing right now. Lord, I pray, Spirit of God, Touch every person right now. We command healing into your body. Wherever you are watching the program, pain has to go right now. Back pain has to go right now. I speak healing into your eyes, healing into your lungs, into your stomach, into your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Blind eyes open now. Deaf ears open now. And the lame will walk in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I bless every Every person right now with divine healing. Lord, we receive it in your wonderful presence. Lord, I pray for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever you are, stand up and walk. Begin to see. Lord, we believe by your stripes we are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And if that's you at home, please do get in touch. Get in touch with your prayer request at god.tv forward slash prayer. We'd love to pray for you and with you. And perhaps we'll even read your prayer request out on air. Um, but if we don't, don't worry. We have prayer teams around the world that are praying for you at home right now. And in fact, if you need to reach out to a person, Fergus, Amen. they can call the number on the screen and somebody will be waiting to take your call right now. So before we join Verna to end this program, we have a wonderful, wonderful word of encouragement from Catherine Ruanala from Brisbane, Australia. It's been such a crazy season for so many people. But the good news is that there is one that wants to walk closer than a brother to you. You know, I listen and I hear and I... I, I see the needs of the people around me and my heart breaks for how many people are suffering, how many people are overwhelmed with trouble. And I'm limited in my ability to, to meet all of those needs. But I take comfort in this, that by encouraging them to have relationship with the Holy Spirit, they can have connection with the one, the helper, who is able to supply all of their needs according to his riches in glory. Their needs for healing, their needs for companionship, their needs for comfort, their need for help, because he is our ever-present help in time of need. You and I can introduce people to Jesus. And in introducing them to a life of companionship, of fellowship with him, we give them the greatest gift that there is. But you know, sometimes we forget that we have that gift. And when we feel alone or discouraged or are surrounded by lies that are trying to overwhelm us or circumstances that just seem too much, we can cry out like the psalmist, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And the Holy Spirit will be there. He'll grab a hold of your hand and lead you to the one where you will find safety, refuge, comfort, and encouragement. Now, your God is a strong and mighty tower. He is the name you can run into and be safe. When you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling you can't do it, surrender to his strength. Look to him and say, help, believing in faith that he will come and he will supply your need for comfort, for love, for encouragement. Our Lord Jesus loves you more than you could ever understand. The Father is for you and his kindness is beyond your comprehension to understand. Hold on to him and grab a hold of the hand of the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I want to know you. Teach me, comfort me, lead me. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I because it is the only unshakable thing in times that have been so unstable. Hallelujah.
for all of us that are reluctant to share our faith. We've shared a whole program where sharing our faith is so important. Verna, we literally have two and a half minutes before the end of this broadcast. Would you please give an altar call to those of our viewers who may never have received Jesus into their hearts as Savior and Lord? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's a, a great privilege because Jesus came to seek and to save who is lost. And, uh, well, if you live without Christ, can you imagine that the Son of God, who lived a holy life, died on a cross out of love because of you? He died on a cross with one um, th uh, thing in mind, to give his life to die for you, to save you for eternity. He said, I have to die, but on the third day I will arise. And he arose on the third day. He is alive. He's right here. So if you want to say, yes, I need Jesus. I have no insurance of eternal life. I don't know if I will end up in heaven. Jesus will forgive all your sins. He will give you eternal life. He will connect you with the living God and you can become a child of God. This is the greatest message on earth and Jesus is alive. So if you want to join me in prayer, if you want to ask Jesus to become your Lord and your Savior, please pray a simple prayer together with me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you came to seek and to save what is lost. You died on a cross out of love because of me. You arose on the third day and you are alive. Come into my life. Forgive all my sins and be my Lord and my Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am saved for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Verna, thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to work with you for Jesus for the next month or so. It's so excited. We're excited and we hope all of you at home are excited too. Look, just want to encourage you, go share Jesus with somebody today. Honestly, it's going to change someone's life and you don't know the missed opportunity if you don't. Also, if you've just given your life to Christ for the first time, let me be the first to say welcome to the family Get plugged in, get plugged into a church, get plugged into all the resources you can because Jesus is going to change your life. As long as you're praying, listening and learning and understanding who God is and what he has for your life, then I know that knowing Jesus and living life for him is going to change your life. So wherever you are around the world, Werner is commissioning us to be involved in a global outreach through Go Movement. But from Ian and myself, until next time we gather on Standing Together, God bless you and shalom. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know how it impacted you. Send your testimony or prayer request to hope.god.tv today. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit god.tv.